moving on with this part of the program rather quickly. Thank you for the program over to Super Harper and Super Brock. What's your usual cruising altitude? Uh, it depends. If we're if, like coming here tonight, we we're at 1500. Um, point A to point B. Obviously, if we have to go point, high point, the altitude's a little, uh, the uh, elevation's a little higher, so we might be around 2500 to 3000. Usually, 1500 is comfortable. Um, if we have to do anything else, I've been as high as 9000 in this aircraft, um, and as low as 50 feet looking for people. So it all depends. But 1500 is comfortable. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
<laughs> well, basically, you know, anything after 9-11, there's a lot of grants, a lot of funding coming out. So uh, we are part of the Homeland Security branch of the state police. We're the Aviation Bureau, part of that branch. Um, so that's, and as far as what makes you fly, uh, we have something called credit skills all the time. We do have infrastructure checks. We check all the nuclear plants. We check uh, yeah, the chemical right here in Carney. Okay. It's a big hazard if something were to happen. Jersey Transit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, major transit hubs right now yeah. are a big threat. So we can also check, check the rail there as well. So we do a lot of other stuff that uh, you know, we really don't discuss the public, but it's part of the Homeland Security branch. <laughs> medevac helicopter to come out and actually what condition does the person have to be in? That's assessed by ALS. I don't know if you guys learned about ALS when they get to the scene. It's something that they deem is very critical to the patient. The biggest thing is not so much what condition they're in at the time, although it matters, it's whether or not you might have to climb somewhere else. For example, if the patient has severe burns and you think you have to bring him to a burn center, let's say St. Barnabas, as you start flying St. Barnabas, they take a turn for the worse, let's say, cardiac condition. Well, the medics on board know that the uh, burns are going to be secondary, so now they're going to transport to maybe Morristown who has a better, better cardiac unit. So that's, that's really the big reason behind that. You can change the trauma center real quick. Or on the ground, it might take close to 40, 50 minutes to change tracks in the air. So that's a very good question.